Hello and welcome back to Chronos Plays Pokemon Fire Red the Nuzlocke Challenge. Thank you for joining me. So, we are down to Pokemon. We did put Larper in our party. And the blizzard outside is in fact no more. Though after the last episode, I did lose power for like a second. Uh, nothing too much. It, was, it just flickered off. So the computer reset and everything like that. Thankfully, I had already saved the, the, the last recording. And... Uh, I only lost internet after that, and that was due to the power box upstairs. So instead of fighting Sabrina today, we're going to go to the fighting dojo, and we're going to have Hillbilly wreck these guys like there's no tomorrow. And uh, we're not going to take any of the fighting Pokemon. Um, we're not going to take either Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee, because we already took a Pokemon for this area, which was Lap Lapras or Lopper. <clears throat> So, we're just going to leave them in their balls behind the Master Dojo dude. And tell them to fuck off, because we don't need their help. We have all the help we could possibly have, right? No. Oh, Makey. I lost mine. Technically, he was a primate, but... He was a Makey once. All those episodes ago. Then he died. And he left me all alone. That sucks. Ugh, I hate it when I lose Pokemon. Especially ones that I've had for a while. I guess it's kind of the point of the whole, you know, Nuzlocke challenge thing though, right? You're, you're limited. You never know what you're gonna have, and you never know what you're gonna lose. Thankfully though, Hillbilly seems to be doing fairly well in terms of level and power. A lot better than I was expecting him to be when I first got him, because good lord did he suck. He still kind of sucks compared to, like, Alakazam, but on the upside, he has physical power, which Alakazam doesn't. In fact, Alakazam has very low physical defense, so in a battle between a Hypno and Alakazam, if the Hypno has a, you know, physical attack move, say, like, Headbutt, he'll probably come out on top if he can hit him uh, first. Though, I don't think, actually, to be fair, I don't think... Alakazam is powerful enough to one-shot a Hypno with a Psychic move, because, you know, they have good special defense, and they're Psychic, so they take less damage. I think it's something to look into. We'll technically find that out in the near future, won't we? Because Sabrina has a hip. No, oh no, she has an Alakazam. They shatter boulders are training every day. No oh, primate. No, I'm gonna use Psychic on this guy because I feel like he's rubbing in the fact that I no longer have a a primate. I have nothing. They are dead, and he's rubbing it in my fucking face. What a douchebag. We almost... Yeah, we're done. We are done. St st what? Stump fingers. Come on, faster text. Come on, faster text. We must go faster. Must go faster. Yeah, we don't need to go faster. Hey. You quiet down over there, Void. Little bastard. This is an easy gym. Yeah. I'm at a loss for words. I don't, I don't know what to talk about. The blizzard came, the blizzard went. I'm still alive, somewhat. I guess that's really debatable whether or not I'm alive. You know, I didn't die. That's good. Oh, we didn't kill Primate? Oh man. He's kind he's kinda fucking us up with those those fury slashes there. How about a headbutt? Doink. Oh actually I watched an old WrestleMania recently. It had Doink the Clown in it. 
And that threw me for a loop, because I remember Doink the Clown. I, I, I knew he was evil at some point, but he was actually a fairly good wrestler. Grunt. I'm the Karate Master. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fa Or Fua. Or something. I don't know. Black Belt Kyochi. Hitmon Lee. That's right, Hitmon Lee. Time to die. I hope, anyways. What? Oh my god. Mind Reader. Took game. What's that making? So it's a 100% hit or something? Thankfully, it's not 100% dodge. Now, Hitmonlee is the better fighting type Pokemon. He focuses mainly on physical attacks. All his moves are physical. While Hitmonchan here is a physical stat, you know, builder. But all his abilities are special attack. Like Thunder Punch, um, Ice Punch, etc, etc. So he's far weaker in terms of damage output. He, apparently he was weaker with the amount of hit points as well because he went down in one shot. Fuck you guys. I don't even I didn't even want your Pokemon. I just came in here to humiliate you motherfuckers. Let us go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then we will go on to fight. Stop riding into the goddamn wall. There we go. We will go to Sabrina's Saffron City Gym and we'll bitch slap her around a little bit. Because why not, right? We're going to be fighting um, a good amount of ghost Pokemon in this gym as well. Which is kind of silly, because ghosts are weak against Psychic. Though in the anime they said they're the strong against Psychic. I think ghost type moves are strong against Psychic. But, in the original Generation 1 there was only like one ghost type move, that, or two ghost type moves that did damage. One was a <clears throat> Lick, which was very underpowered. And one was Nightshade, which did damage equal to your hit points, which, not hit points, I level. So it was useless. It was utterly, completely useless. Oh, this guy has a water type. Well, I guess that makes sense. Let's see how hit, Headbutt does. Eh, not bad, not bad. I got enough super potions to deal with this stuff, as long as he doesn't go confused. All right. So Slowpoke is down. If I had known it was a slow okay, we're gonna put weed out here. Give him a few levels. Giga Drain Slowpoke's ass. Cause you know it's kinky like that. I do need to level weed up a little bit though. He is suffering compared to some of my other Pokemon. Lopper also needs a level up. But you can one shot it, so that's good. That's that's really good. And this slow bro probably won't be able to one-shot this guy. And now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't be using Weed here because he is a poison-type Pokemon. Please don't hit me with a confusion. Water Gun, thank you for being an idiot. Still did a lot of damage, but not so bad in comparison to the psychic attack he could have used on me. You're dead. Sweet. Do I gain a level? No, I don't. Sadly, I do not. Now, I don't have a map for the patterns here. We came in that one, right? So we're going to go to this one. I do want to fight all the trainers. It's another guy. We'll keep Hypno out in front. If he has... I hope he doesn't have another... Um, Slowbro. Or not Slowbro. Slowpoke. There we go. Kadabra! We should be able to kill him with a headbutt. Just saying, Kadabra's really weak. And he's dead. Dead Jim. Slowpoke, we'll bring out Weed. Again, kinda risky, but if we act first, we should be able to kill him. Gain a level for him and in the process. But we only have two Giga Drains left, so we gotta be careful. But I gotta be careful, I mean we have to probably not use him going forward after this battle. Unless I want to use an ether on him. Which is... Tempting. 
I just don't know how many more slow pokes are in this area. Mr. Mime. We'll bring Blaze out. He should be fairly strong to one-shot this guy. And now, I want to learn Slash. I, I'm hoping I didn't just forget to learn Slash with uh, Blaze here. I'm going to assume it's coming up soon or shortly. I'm going to hope it comes up shortly because Slash is a very, very powerful physical attack move that I would love for him to know. Kadabra, you know what, we'll stick with Blaze. He's not hurting on levels at all, but Hillbilly definitely doesn't need them. It'll help us keep it, the, the headbutts in line. Or not in line, but in use for Sabrina and her entourage of psychic Pokemon that all are weak. Oh, fuck, I already been to this one. Alright. Can't run here? That's dumb. Hey, first channeler. So I think we have, like, four more trainers left, because I think there's... Oh, wait, there's three on each side. So, I, yeah, we have, like, five more trainers left, because I think there's seven trainers total. Confusion, my friend! Confuse the hell out of him. That was very easy. The Pokemon Tower is a great place to grind Psychic Pokemon because these Ghost Pokemon don't stand a goddamn chance against Psychic. It's kind of funny. And they made it like they, they said in the anime that Ghost type was strong against Psychic, which is bullshit because it's not. At fucking all. Haunter and Gengar are kind of cool Pokemon. I don't use them as often as I use Alakazam, but I do use them sometimes. Mostly in the later generations, because they get better. There's more Ghost-type Pokemon, or Ghost-type moves you can use. We're back at the beginning. Another channeler, sweet. There's Sabrina in the center. We'll probably call it an episode after this trainer. And... I want to defeat all the trainers in here, then I'll go back to the entrance, you know, use the Pokemon Center, and then I'll show you guys the correct pattern to get to um, Sabrina, instead of to the trainers. Then again, I'm not really going in the correct pattern to go to the trainers, I'm just going to random telepads. Hillbilly is going to be level 50 pretty shortly too. That's cool. That is cool. I like I like that hillbilly. I've already been here. Right? Have we already been there? I feel like we've already been there. We haven't. This is a new one. Sweet. We're uh, making good progress on the trainers. Alright, uh, we'll try to finish up all the trainers this episode. I think we have two left. One, two. Yeah. Two left. And one's a channeler, so it shouldn't be that... On, that's fine by me. I'll use Headbutt again. Come on. Time to die. Time to die. You're dead. Not sure if I'm going to use Encore again, but if I am, you're going to die shortly too. Yep. Oh well. Sucks to be you, Kadabra. I'm not really faring for my Pokemon lives for this gym be honest. Now we are finished with this side of Pokemon Trainers. Alright. Yep. I think we already went to this one. Oh, nope. New Trainer. So we have one more. And that's Channeler. And then we have Sabrina. So Slowbro, huh? Alright. Well, doesn't really matter. Let's see how much a Psychic does to him. Probably not that much. I'm assuming not that much. Oh, that was a critical hit, so... Amnesia, so that's gonna increase his power, I think? Yeah. I thought for a second it was gonna lower my power. 
this does not do it. Oh, but he flitches, so fairly easy fight then. And we just need to get to that last channeler, then we can call it an episode. Well, that was like I planned it, and I didn't, so sadness. I should take credit for all that, but yes, this is the last trainer. Um, after this, we're going to end the episode. I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center, and then I'll show you the correct and fastest way to get to Sabrina from the entrance of the gym. Then we will kill her and move on to... Now, we could go to the Sea Foam Islands, or Sea Form Islands, I forget what they're called. Or we could go to the bike path, or the bike, uh, bike route, and kill all the trainers there. Thus giving us more experience, giving us a chance to actually catch a Pokemon. And... Yeah, mostly just grind up LARPer and... I think Weed would probably be able to... Actually, I don't think so. I think they have mostly Poison-type Pokemon, so Hillbilly would be getting even more levels. Anyways, thank you for joining me. If you liked the episode, press the like button below. If you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend it, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.